video. I'm reckless. You already know, definitely gonna be, you know what I'm saying, dropping dropping a lot of, like I said in the past videos, of a new, you know what I'm saying, new 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 type of, of videos. And, the, you know what I'm saying, the same ones. Yeah. yeah. But I, I feel like uh, definitely want to wanna expand on a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Change is always good. Yeah. You feel me? Definitely. Um, but you already know, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It ain't really changing. You know what I'm saying? This is more so just a venture. You know what I'm saying? Adventure I would say a little yeah, bit. exploring yeah. more. Facts. Yeah. You feel me? Charlie, no, hit that like button, subscribe button. Let's get in the video. What you're about to see is raw and unscripted. Viewer discretion is advised. It's been very hard to have a conversation out here with you. I can stand wherever the fuck I want, little fucking Nazi bitch. And Infowars, bitch. Yeah. No one fuck. can hear what you're saying. You can, bitch. That's who I'm talking to. Do you mind? Can I grab your pussy? Sure. Damn, what the hell? Oh, they're right Wouldn't it be great if the liberals actually practice love? All I ever see or hear from them is intolerance and profanities. What if you believed a lie? That the President of the United States and your fellow Americans were racist, homophobic, fascists with a Nazi agenda. They're full of hate, they're angry, and they're crazy. There is not one person that said a cuss word from over there. We've been standing here the whole time. Everyone is saying four more years and that we're hopeful for the future. These people are screaming horrible things. I don't know what they're thinking. What if what you heard on the news is a lie? Do you believe President Trump is a racist? Yeah, yeah, no question. You think Donald Trump is racist? I do. President Trump's racism. He is an open, avowed racist. And the president is cynically using that racism to appeal to his base. President Trump is the leader of the United States. He is also a liar. In fact, one of the most divisive acts of deception in our nation's history. You might hear someone in the Third Reich describe uh, a given people based on their characteristic. Well, now, as Commander-in-Chief, he misleads the public constantly. They should be embarrassed. They should be embarrassed. You should be ashamed. We're not white supremacists. Uh, I'm not a white These supremacist. people are not. I'm not a white supremacist, and he's gay. And he... Then how can you support Trump? He doesn't support any of that. Absolutely. You're I insane. I guess I'm a slug that likes salt. <laughs> a tree that likes a chainsaw. Yeah. Can you have a... Do you have a hard time imagining anyone would like Trump? I used to be one of these people. I was a devout Democrat. I wanted to take you over here with me to the that's, Trump... That's really what I want to check out as well, is, is just seeing... Uh, Doing, doing a reaction, mama. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna call you back. Okay. All right. Uh, I, what I want to see is people. He said he was once a Democrat. I want to see a video of. Please, yeah, comment down below. I want to see a video of. You know what I'm saying? A like, Democrat yeah. switching over. Like, yeah. Like yeah, and why? Supporter side, and so you can experience what's over here on the Trump supporter side, and maybe you can show me if there is racism over here that I should be concerned about. I came to represent the black man in this situation. What are on the people's minds on the Trump line? What are on their minds? That's what I am trying to figure out. All right, let's go find out. How would you react? Anger, emotional outbursts, panic, violence, fear? Would you have the courage to seek the truth? For yourself. I hate when they be showing like all the shit. Like you've seen I wanna, into I Trump's see rallies. Liberals tend to stand off to the side or across the street, yelling, screaming, and heckling their protest chants from across the way. Over here, I see people screaming and yelling. Right? So over here, I see people standing quietly and just watching these people scream and yell. See, the issue is though, and this is the only difference between these two groups of people, is 
that that side has somewhere they they're going into a tr going into a rally, right? Well, a lot of harassment on the Antifa side, which I think some of these people are probably affiliated with. Um, Do you think that this though? You see how it feels to be like being yelled at? These people are being yelled at. Does this make does this make you think that these people doing this is going to change their mind? Absolutely not. This is just hate. This is fueling fire to their fire. Hey, Infowars, I watch you guys all the time. What do you think about all this this hate over here? I think it's just like unnecessary. I feel like people just need to like actually like think about things like Instead of just sitting here, You're a hey, I'm not, I'm not an immigrant. My dad, Did you hear what hey, this guy my just dad's said? an immigrant, and he's here my dad's here. My dad is here legally. He came from Vietnam. That's fantastic. Then you you, you. It's okay. Pe people are allowed to be here legally. Right? No, yeah, I am a descendant of an immigrant, but he's not illegal. That's not they think the Democrat Party it, owns all that. ethnic minorities. Actually, initially, the they Republican Party was actually the one that was um for like everybody to be equal. Yeah, so. but they don't know that. I know, and it's really? kind of sad that people think that nowadays. Do you think that it's okay to call, grab a woman by the pussy? I didn't call women bitches, I called you an Infowars bitch. Can I grab your pussy? Can I grab your pussy? Bro, he's, he's, he's out of it. Huh? Will you be okay with that? You touch, I have to be drunk. You touch me, and the police are going to arrest pocket. you, sir. Rarely ever did I see liberals walking up to the Trump supporters and asking questions, let alone deciding to actually go into Trump's rallies and hear him for themselves. This time, I wanted to see if I could get something different. Will you come with me over there and we'll, we'll go talk to the Trump supporters? Now, here's the thing. I know this is a fucking trap. I know it it's is. It's not a trap. It's not a trap. I know. What you, what's gonna happen? Oi, 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 oi! I know this is a trap. What do you think about the message that these protesters are sending the Trump supporters? Well, well first of all, I, they demonstrators. Then I met Marcos who took me up on the challenge. I don't think hate is a part of democracy, meaning the other side. I actually got a ticket. Marcos believes the hate is coming from the right, the Trump side of the road, just like most liberals and Democrats. I have a ticket to go in. Oh, in the Trump event? Yes, okay. but I want to go in to be able to prove a point okay. from, a, from a, a strong black man perspective. Mark See, and that's, that's really what you need, so you'll hear his perspective and hear, you know what I'm saying, the Trump supporters perspective, Republicans perspective, because you wanna see, and that right there just shows uh, of you being uh, uh, mature. Uh, exactly, of talking instead of saying, oh, it's a trap or oh, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing this, but he's yelling across the street. You know what I'm saying? This is one of those like. Most believes Trump and his supporters are racist that when they say, let's make America great again, they really mean, let's make America white again. I'm an American citizen. Why are you so stupid to think that if Twitter's a public company, they, they can't And that ban other anyone. people. Why are you that dumb? Such as the Trump people, you know, they. They just don't want to see hey, can you But this go all the way back to 1619. He also believed that if he went inside the Trump rally, he would witness true racism firsthand. A clever little gotcha move that the left would love to see. Instead, what ends up happening is truly amazing. They represent whatever they represent. I'm I want to know like because that. we watched that video of the dude yeah, go through the Trump rally. I want to see something else. And this is exactly why I want to see these videos of what's going on. Because a lot of people say, oh, that's just one video. That's just you seeing this person go through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so yeah, I wanted, right I wanted to take you over here with me to the Trump supporter side. And so you can experience what's over here on the Trump supporter side. And maybe you can show me if there is racism over here that I should be concerned about. I literally have a ticket, though. Like yeah. I explained to you, I have a ticket. Okay. But me seeing no blacks over there that that confuses me what are on the people's minds on the truck line what are on their minds that's what i am trying to figure out all right let's go find out future wife right there future wife let's go find out <laughs> yeah someone said your future wife's over there okay okay marcos also expressed fear that his safety would be in jeopardy if he went inside the trump rally 
I, I have a ticket for this event. I do. Will I be safe in there? Will I be safe? He wants to know. That just shows you right there, just based off of what his attitude is. Is would you be safe in there? Him as a person, I don't know what that man thinking, but him as a person, like, of course, you know what I'm saying. You never know, like, of course, like, just yeah. based off his attitude, like, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be safe inside there if he goes. Yeah. Come on in. You go with us. What? You, you come on. Come on. You go right here with us. You break a line. Come on, man. Well, I, I put my arm around you, man. That's it's all about love, man. I, I love all my people. I love that's all it. my people. That's right. That's that. He didn't say I love all you people. I love all my people. Come on, bro. It's 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 a difference. Come on, you go right here with us. You break a line. It's a difference. Come on, man. I, I put my arm around you, man. That's it's all that's about love, man. I love all my people. I love all my people. That, that, that's a good thing. I love my, I love all people. Come on, man. We love you, man. Come on with us, man. We're going to go down here. They love you. They love you. Come on, let's go down some more. Why, why do you guys support Trump? Because I believe in freedom of speech. That's right. That's and in the Second thing. Amendment, he's doing what's best for the country. Legalize immigration. Legalize immigration. Not illegal. Right? What's wrong with that? Okay, so. The, the, those of us that have to come here legally, we pay a price for that, and 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 so people so, jumping over the border, people get so mad. We, people get mad when people jump over the border at at Disneyland. Okay, so hold on. Tell We're me talking that. something so about back something. So in 1619, 1619, 1619. Let me tell you something. You can't be thinking in the past, brother. What do you mean you can't be thinking you know, in the you, past? You can't. You do things in the past to get to the future, bro. I, I know, but in order to move forward, man, you can trip if you keep on looking back. I save money Come in on. the past to buy a car in the future. Come if on. If you keep on looking back, you're gonna keep on tripping, on, brother. Yeah. You gotta figure out where it started, man. Oh, I know where it started, man, but it's about where we're going. Okay, go, go to the, the Vegas War and then the Burgess House. Go you keep on looking back, you're gonna trip, it. man. Read no. You, 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 can't, you can't have that victim mentality, brother. You can't have to do that, man. We gotta move forward. That's history, boss. We got to this point. History. But I, I see, I see, I see what both I see what both is saying. I see he's saying by history, and he's saying that you gotta move forward. Really? You think about that history, yes, of course, but you also wanna you also want to move forward with things and try to get things figured out. Right now, y'all looking like like look at us, look at us. Like y'all see the video. Like y'all y'all see how we are, how how we're divided, how we're this, how we're that. Yeah. Yes, it was it was history back then. Sixteen, what do you say? Sixteen something. You know what I'm saying? But at the but at the same time, look at us. Like we look like look at us. Look at look at the presidents we we have. In. Look at the look at the government in general. Like look at us. People not thinking like, look at this. It's, it's, it's sad to, to actually, I don't know. Like, it's just a lot. I'm one of those people like, you got to move forward. I try to teach myself, even with myself, like to sometimes don't hold grudges. You got to move past it. Move past it. You try to get better. You try to do this. You try to do that. There's more to that. And I see what I see what both of them saying. Man, it's history, brother. He I see wants both to of them saying, but I definitely see what Is he going to be forward. safe if he comes in with you guys? Because oh, he doesn't know. He's what? I come here with my For kids. sure. Yeah, you'll be good. Of course. Uh, yeah, come with us. You'll be good. Are you in the front? Yeah. See, you're not We've in got the front. We've got tickets. You're going to come in with us. Can you tell us why you support Trump? Because he what? puts America first, which is what a president should do. So let me tell you that term, America first. Yeah. Let's go back to 1924, the Democratic National Convention, right? Yeah. All Ku Klux Klan. Guess what their sign said? America first. The, the first coin of the Ku Klux Klan, one side, one side of the coin said, that's the, this is the truth. Was America first invented by the Ku Klux Klan? Even Snopes dispels that rumor. I thought we just watched something that said that the Democrat, the, yeah. the Democrat had the KKK, founded the KKK, yeah, and then... Yeah. Just what? because like, some random white supremacists now, out now there might have said America on? first, you get this rumor perpetuated by leftist media outlets that the Ku Klux Klan was originally using America first and that they invented it. The white supremacist group made frequent use of the slogan more recently embraced by President Donald Trump though they did not, as some claim, invent it. But see, these people, Make America, the, the racism is so I, I far from their mind I understand. that they don't even, no, that doesn't register. That. That's not true. I, go I, ask him, go ask him. That's not true. Let's tell, okay, he wants to tell you, what does Make America Great Again mean to you? What does it mean to me? It means that uh, we have opportunities. Donald, Donald Trump has done a lot specifically for me because uh, 
with like jobs and stuff like that. And I invest in the stock market and stuff like that, and I, I, I've made a ton of money. So you see all these people over here and stuff like talking bad about them, but they don't understand. That's well, what it is. Well, it's not that they talk How many Trump like, rallies have you been to? Right, right. You said it's what? the First Amendment right. It is the First Amendment right. Donald Trump but talk about everybody. He, he talks about everybody. He calls people names. Uh, it's just horrible. He cusses people out. Okay, what's wrong with uh, that? He, it's, no, hold have, you, have you read the Constitution? You said what you want to have. It's okay. a freedom of speech. Okay, so why can't he say what he want to say? That's what I'm saying. But you're saying, look at those you know people. You're comparing the people. We're here in, in, we're here in America, and we can say whatever the fuck we want to say. That's, That's what true. I think. That's you guys take it easy, all right? Yeah. Yeah. to the people. That's all I can say. Yeah. Hold on. I'm trying to figure who I'm going to use my okay. ticket with. I'm going in with somebody. Why do you guys support Trump? I like his realism. No fakeness. No fake. Just tell us how it is. Tell us how it is. Tell us how it is. So he wants to know if he goes in there, if he's going to be safe and welcome. I will welcome you with open arms. That's another person. That's We're all one people, right? That's what we'll say. But do the rules, do the rules apply the same? Absolutely. Have the rules applied the same? Well, some people try to keep us segregated, but we're not going to allow that to happen. But it's part of the laws. It's part of the rules. We're going to be one people. It's part of the rules. It started off that way, and it's got to still continue. We're going to make the I feel like what, what a lot of people that they interview and a lot of people that they're going, they're looking at the fact of themselves, what they want, just like, oh, ju just like the other side. Look at what is benefiting you. Look what's... I feel like regardless who you go, look at how it's benefiting you and benefiting your family. That man just said, yeah, I'm in stock market. I made a lot of money. I did this, did that. Okay, this is this is why it's benefiting me. This yeah. The other, you know what I'm saying, that's not benefiting me. So I feel like damn near stay in your own lane type shit. I feel like it's just one of those, like, stay in your own lane and, and try to fit, like, it's, it's, it's a lot, too. It is, really. it is Martin, a, well, everyone's got it fast. Let's we, all be one people. Well, we've been saying that and what happened to him, he dead. He was non-violent and he still died. They said Malcolm was about violent and he they both in the same place. And they a lot of those Democrats place. were a lot of the people that were part of the KKK were Democrats back then. I but agree with that. Changed. I agree with that. Time's changed. So we got a dilemma here, don't we? Yeah. So let's talk to right. talk to more people. Let's go. Come on. Hey, you guys are almost changing me around. Hold on. A few more, I might change my mind. Yeah. Huh? If I can get in there safe and get out safe, guess what? I, I, I'll become a Trump supporter. When I went to the Trump rally down in uh, Florida, and I feel like all he, all, all a lot of people like, you know, what I'm saying like this individual. I'm not even going, I'm not even going to put it as color because it's really not no color to it. It's just really on what you, what you like. You know what I'm saying? Um, as you can see, uh, that kid was where is he? He said his dad was from Vietnam. You had somebody black, you had somebody white, and then of course on the other side they chanting and shit. You got the same shit. I feel like him as an individual, not just black, not not white, not mess, not any of those. Looking at him as a person and people like him with that same mindset. I feel like doing this interview and talking to Trump supporters and stuff like that, different Trump supporters, not the same one, different different Trump supporters. And you talk and you try to get to know, you really find yourself. Just be just just like it'd be a Trump supporter that don't even know in their right mind. Oh, okay, I don't really know what. I don't really know what and, and what I'm voting for and who I'm voting for. I don't really know. I just know what I learned. We we said in the last past videos of you growing up, you getting groomed to uh oh, you gonna you gonna like you gonna like this president. You know what I'm saying? As a kid. Until you grow up and you're not knowing like, oh, okay, I'm gonna vote for them, this is what my parents voted for. But then like I said Exactly. You have a Trump supporter like that, say he went over there like and y'all go with the difference. Oh, you never know. He might, you know what I'm saying, be a Democrat. If it's not bidding for him, if he don't know why he's really voting for, yeah. just like he just went over there. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. I don't I don't like I don't like Trump. I don't like what he's doing. Look what he just said. Oh, y'all might give me the switch because he's, he's hearing the differences. He's seeing what it he's is. He's finding himself. He's more finding Cubans himself. there than there were white people. Okay. So and, it's not all the same in every city. It's just based on demographics. And I'm well, sure these people would be happy. Every time when you look on TV, you mean to tell me you don't see all white people behind them now? Come on now. We haven't at the Trevor. Yeah. Well, I, they want. See, is, it, is it a representation of America the way it is? It's because they want more people of color to join them. How do you? But the mainstream how do you media. Get that when you. The media tells everyone that listens 
that Trump is racist, and these people are watching Fox News, all these other ones, it's like, he's not racist, so they're watching the left media that says he's racist, and so that's why you, it turns but off a lot of people of color. My, uh, some of the things I've heard, or I, 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 Some of the things you've heard are not true, and the okay. only way you can figure it out for yourself is to actually come and talk to the people themselves. Okay. Let's, let's do talk. it, come let's on, let's talk. Uh, I just what I just said, I feel like that's, that's that's what I feel like is important because even though this individual, I don't know how old this individual is, but we all know that he's not a kid. We all know that he's not a teenager. But at the same time, you're looking at the fact that age really doesn't matter after you turn 18, when, you, when 18, right? When you when you can vote. So you don't really know until you really know until you you're actually doing your research and unless you you talking to somebody that. Oh, I vote for Trump because of this. You might, oh, okay, well, damn, does that apply to me? Does that not apply to me? What does this benefit me? What does this benefit? I feel like it's more so of that rather than. I'm saying, and he might have stuck with what his parents were. Like, or, teaching him or whatever. Yeah, and or listening to his friend or his family. Yeah, and now he's like seeing like maybe today. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. I've heard. Or I, 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 some of the things you've heard are not true. And the okay. only way you can figure it out for yourself is to actually come and talk to the people themselves. Okay. Let's, let's do talk. it. Come let's on, let's talk. I support Trump because he supports American values. American values? He supports and American, American values. values. American so let me values. tell you what American values listen, are. Listen to me, listen to me. I'm an immigrant to this country, right? Okay. I got. I came here through a process, okay. right? Through a process, right? Everybody that comes to this country should go through a process. So the settlers that came back here in 1619. Oh, God, 1619. Get out of here. Well, what, you have to start it's somewhere. It's 2020. There's a new process. So why was Donald now? Trump in Virginia the other day celebrating? Well, we got to go. Celebrating 400 years ago. What about my people? What about my ancestors? What about all of that? Come on now. But what about today and what we can do moving forward? I see these people, the, I the think The only they're, way to move forward, a bank, robber, forward see? a bank robber don't get to keep the money if he get caught. It's okay to go it's back a, in history and say, oh, these people murdered these people. I think it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. So it's sad, but he, I think at the same time, America is the greatest country. We have the right to free speech. We have free speech. We have the right to self-defense, to protect okay. ourselves. Okay. We have the right to not be um, given unwarranted searches and seizures. I mean, we that's, have that's, great that's, rights. That's if you have a whiteness about you. If no. you have a blackness, you don't get to enjoy it. I have been through it, man. I was just down in St. Louis at the Ferguson thing. I had a microphone. The damn police came up and started beating me up for nothing. I got a microphone. We're not saying that, you know, it's not an issue with black people and it is an issue with black people being mistreated. What we're saying is is that the the policies and the the ideas that this group of people have here is they're trying to move forward. They're trying to make America the greatest it can be. They want jobs, they want economic growth, they want okay. unity. It's Let's always, talk to some more of these okay. people because they're gonna that's be right. they're gonna be able to tell you the best. Uh, that's true. That's true. Immigration, immigration, immigration. Now, immigration so important to you? Well, if you let more people in here, it takes down our uh, wages of our jobs, and and our wages go down, and American people's wages go down. And and why, why do the and wages... Americans got to work for eight bucks an hour. Hell yeah. so, so why do our wages go down? Because they work for cheaper wages, and there's more people up there, and there's more of us. So basically, he's worried about the illegal immigrants that come here. They work under the tables, they get paid really low, and yep. then Americans get put out of work. Exactly. But and, it's not, you, and it's even harder not. to find the jobs. So but. if they came legally, they would have citizenship, and they would also be, be able to be hired legally. Exactly. And exactly. then they would be being paid the good wage as well. Yep. So in a way, the illegal immigrants get uh, kind of uh, a lot. I'm all for immigration coming in legally. Don't y'all y'all see y'all see how he's how he's uh, not saying nothing. Yeah, he's not. I don't understand. He's not saying nothing because he's 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 listening. You're not you're not you you're not having people over there yelling in your face while you're trying to talk. You listen. It's it's more of a respect thing. You listen. He may not agree with what he's saying at all. He may not agree with what he's saying at all. 
but at the same time, they're listening to each other. And that's the most most respect a person can get is when you're sitting there listening. Immigrants like get uh, kind of uh, a lot. I'm all for immigration coming in legally. Don't, don't, just don't act like I don't want immigrants here. I do. I just don't want millions of them. I don't want 100,000 of them a month coming over here. And I don't want to hear this. They're all for... Here's the deal. We got Democrat parties want a free education, free Medicare, free everything. All that's going to do is tell the mayor, uh, the whole rest of the world, come here and live here. Are, are, are your people immigrants here? Immigrants. Saying, yeah, and they came saying, lawfully. And when hey, when my family came here, there wasn't no welfare. When they came here, there wasn't no uh, HUD. There wasn't no people giving out food stamps. Okay. When my ancestors came here, well, they came in with a hundred bucks, and if they starved, they died. Okay, so now we come here and we feed you, and you get here, and then at the same time you take your, you stop on our flags, and you tell them, I'm tired of it. He's the best president since Abraham. What makes so he's what speaking. Makes best? He's speaking mainly on the immigrants yeah. coming that's his, here. Yeah, that's his problem. Okay, so he's speaking on the immigrants. Okay, yeah. see, see, you have different problems on why you you choose it. I would say yeah, he's choosing it for that. Because okay, so so I see it's the immigrants. He, he feel like they come in, you know what I'm saying? It's more of a disrespect thing when you come, you know what I'm saying? The okay. So I see. Me, I'm tired of him. He's the best president since Abraham. What makes, him, what makes him special? What he's done for our country, what he's done for all of us. I have a ticket to go inside. I Am I going to be safe inside? Absolutely. Well, I would me. Everybody's in it. You can come in with me. There's been a couple of people. You can walk in there with me. Walk in with them and stuff. To be honest so, with you, I would like to see more people of your skin tone with us. Tomorrow. Right in here, you're safe. If I go in there and I take in, in uh, hi, and hi, I just start know. getting brave and I say uh, something oh. like, uh, hi, you? And are I you a Trump supporter? I'm an independent. Supporter. Oh, he, oh, he wants to hear too. He's trying to investigate sir, too. Sir, he's I an independent. See, and that's that's what, what I like. He's trying to find him. He's not just jumping on because we both are independent. For, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn things and Let's say, yeah. yeah, I kind of know what yeah. is leaning towards. You know what I'm saying? I know what is leaning towards, um, and I can tell that a lot of other people probably know. But it's you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's he one wants of those. to hear too. He's trying to investigate too. So he's an independent. I hope to see you. Okay, but if, really if I start booing, will I be okay? Yeah. No, yeah. because it's a part of democracy to be able to do that. Absolutely, absolutely. This is our country. But, 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 this but you know, country. Donald would be like, get his ass out of here. Kick his ass. I'll pay. It. I'll pay his legal bills. I'll pay your legal bills. Kick his ass. <laughs> it ain't about white people. That's the that's problem. That's what they see. They don't see. That's, that's exactly what they, what they see. see. That's the problem. That's what the Democrats and the liberals see. They see color. You know what I see? I see people. I see Americans wanting to see an American president. I don't see in color. So he ain't said nothing that's racist to you? No. He hasn't said nothing that's look, bad to you? Look, he's like my employer. The biggest foreman in my company is a black man. And you know why that is? Because he does good work. Now what the hell is going on? Mm. I, I basically just don't like the way the Democratic Party has become. Trump's doing nothing but supporting, you know, women, supporting uh, people who are, you know, uh, people who are in poverty right now are getting jobs because of how great he's doing for the economy. So if, if you found out that Trump, even, Trump did some really horrible things, everybody's like, done horrible things. I mean, it's like, it's not like, it's nothing to hide. I mean, the, the stuff that is. I mean, these investigations have been going on forever, and nothing's nothing's resulted out of it. You know. Why do you support Trump? Why you ain't seen the economy? You don't see the gas prices. You don't see the stock market. The list goes on. You saying the gas prices is cheap? Yes, compared to what they'd be with anybody else in office. They'd be almost five dollars a uh, five dollars a, a, a gallon. But what if you what if you poor and, and can't can't I afford the gas? What you're talking about. Oh, because you're not poor. No, I'm poor. Because unemployment is at an all-time low. Why are you poor? Get two jobs. Trump gave me a job the day he got elected. So I'm getting that money every day. <laughs> Mr. Trump, I love Trump, baby. Her, 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 Trump, you. They didn't turn that man up. They didn't turn him up. Oh God, they didn't turn him up. Shit, I gotta work. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's big though. Like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, and I'm saying a lot of people depend on that un un unemployment. Depend on air. You know what I'm saying? Depend on all that. If you can, you know what I'm saying, working, you know what I'm saying, get that. It's a lot of it's a lot of people out here too that, you know what I'm saying, 
doing it, but hey, by all means, get your money. You feel me? Get your money. They cut you. Get your money. I feel like that's real important. I don't know, bro. They didn't turn bro up though. I'm getting that money every day because of Mr. Trump. He started barking. Oh, <laughs> Trump, baby. Huff, 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 Trump. You, hey, hey, That's great. Because you being able to make your point, I get you. I get it. You know what I'm saying? We support him because he loves America. He lo what makes him love America? Why it's do we diverse. Love America? What is, the what whole line. <laughs> well, you look at it. Everybody's like different race, color. America first. Now, she America just said first. it, so I got to first. Am I gonna be safe if I go in there? Am I gonna be safe? Well, why not? Because I don't see a lot of me here. That's somebody else's fault, not yours. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? They should be here. Is it the way Donald Trump talking? Is it? Is it? I'm saying because, please, I'm I'm like fearful. <laughs> see, they all. They all think that you're crazy asking them oh, if you're going to be safe here. They're like, what? Is he going to be safe if he goes in there? Him? Yeah. Why not, man? Okay. Why not? I don't I don't see enough of me to represent with me here. Oh, no. Hey, this, this, this video this video kind of made me smile, though. Just just seeing how everybody... You, you can't... It's like you can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Just because you see him, you know what I'm saying? He could... Like, damn. Everybody's cool. Yeah. Okay. Why not? So I, far, I, we didn't see nothing. Enough of me to represent with me here. Hey, you're with us. That's all that matters, and brother. And he, uh oh, I done heard Donald Trump say, "Kick his ass." No, there ain't nobody gonna kick your ass. I heard him say it. Nah, no, nah, I don't. I don't think so. You're with us, man. Yeah, it's all good. You sure? I, 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 I back you. Well, I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna see what's going I on. I hope you get in there and I hope it's. Oh, all I'm good. gonna be in there. I'm be in the front. Right, you see man. me? Excuse me. Can I ask you? Uh, um, why exactly are you selling Donald Trump hats? Because I'm. Supporting Donald Trump today. Okay. Today. <laughs> today and any other day too. And any other day. <laughs> so it's not about money? It ain't about money. It's about you voted for Trump in the last election. I sure did. And he's saying all the right things to make you hey, go. He's a straight up man and I like him. He don't bite his tongue. Okay. Mm. And that's what I like about him. Yeah. But I got these hats on sale and they don't clear. So if you want to buy one. <laughs> see, see, one thing about that, one thing about that is business. See, we can talk all you want to, but I'm still selling these hats. I swear to God, I still got these hats. And they're $10. Y'all better get them right now. I like it. Can we come with you? He's investigating. Because I don't see none of me here. He's like nervous, bro. It's like, okay. Let me tell you something. Once I, if I go back, when I go, no, when I go back and read the stories of 1619 of how they did my ancestors, and, but it, it's it, that was done for now, brother. I look at so tell me something. Why was Donald Trump speaking about it? Said, I look at you like me, bro. I'm libertarian. So Donald, if it don't make a difference 400 years later, then the tell me something. Make it a difference. I look at you just like Donald look at Trump. Here. Donald Trump just got finished talking about it the other day. Come on, player. Bro, it's not about Trump. It don't matter what he says, man. What matters is that we're still living together and harmony together, and that's all that matters. So I think I think it's more so a lot of people too. Is it's not it's not what Donald Trump is saying. It's not about Donald Trump. It's more about the people and what they're voting for and what he's standing for. Yeah, about what he's doing. Mm, okay. So what matters is get, that we're still to living together and harmony together, and that's all that matters. What the people they support want to take that away from us, and they don't see that. They don't see that big government gets in between our type of people. They don't understand that. What I understand is that you give people freedom, we naturally just coexist together. Okay. I'm glad you said And I'm not some I'm not them fucking pussy ass people over there and like he fucking coexist. That was already a thing. It's America. He coexists. That's the fucking point. What do you want? I mean the guy speaks his mind. He's he says it like it is. You don't speak but, your mind and say it like it is? So if I went up down the street telling people or telling my kid to punch people in the face and they did it. He's not telling anyone to punch anyone in the face. Uh, Come on, he, man. He said it. He said it. The bottom line is the Trump supporters here, they are supporting him for his economic policies and his policies that they believe are going to make okay, America so great. As Marcos and I went deeper into the MAGA rally, I couldn't help but notice he had a big smile on his face and his shoulders were getting more and more relaxed. He actually seemed to be enjoying himself. He was being met with love and welcoming arms, so it was kind of hard for him not to. 
See, had you been talking to me and you were another black man, guess what? I grab your hand, take you, your wife, your kids, and your granddad, Damn. everybody here. They don't black, white don't mean shit. Why do you guys support Trump? Why do I? Yeah. Because for abortion. What do you think about how? What she say? Why? Yeah. Because for abortion. What do you think about how? Democrats for abortion? Who for abortion? He not for abortion? Like he don't want abortion? Damn. Okay. Planned Parenthood targets African-American communities with their abortion clinics. I, swear to God, I, I feel I'm so sorry that they, have, that they think that they have to put them in that neighborhood when good, they I'm should not. be helping those women instead of putting them in neighborhoods like that. It's bad. Planned Parenthood targets African-American communities because Margaret Sanger was a vehement racist. Exactly. She was. That's right. And most of these people here are all pro-choice. They would, they would prefer abortion be banned. And Planned Parenthood targets the black communities. Oh yeah, it's so sad for you. And, I, I... and so, do you think, do you think uh, Donald Trump targets the black community in any way? I hope he targets you guys to make you better. Although Marcos seemed happier at this point, I felt like there was still something in him holding back. Something in him that was unwilling to let go of the lie that the mainstream. I'm gonna answer that for you. Some, some, some that that's holding him back is is based off of what he's grown to be. So if your parents like, oh, Democrat, this Democrat, 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 that's all you know. That's all you hear. That's all you're about. That's that's is going to hold you back a little bit to to, you know what I'm saying? You don't really know because that's all you. It we see it every day. Uh, we see, I feel like we see it every day. Uh, take for example, uh, if you, if you see your, your parents doing something, say, say for instance, you, 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 you your parents doing something, you follow on these, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying, going deeper what, about it too much. Say your parents doing something and you go into that, you go into a deep, of course you're going to uh, hold back to expand because that's all you know. That's all you've been groomed to know. And that's all, you know what I'm saying? And you're scared. You're scared to see change. You're scared to see people to look at you different. I feel like, and I'm not just saying for him, Democrat going to Republic. Yeah, Republican. It can be, it can be, uh, I mean, I'm not saying, yeah, Democrat going to a Republican. It can be a Republican going to Democrat. You know what I'm saying? It could be that, it, it, it's, it's just one of those things, I feel like. Yeah. It's definitely one of those things. The media has perpetuated about Trump supporters being racist, bigoted, hateful people. So Marcos continued to try to instigate Trump supporters to see if he could get a negative response from them that would validate the mainstream media's lies. Do you have a lot of money? No. He don't have a Trump nothing on either. Right. But he's here. I am the last person that will go through those doors. Good for you. I hope you are. You don't have to I hope you get in. Good for you. I already just got confirmation that he's a half an hour, he's a half an hour to 45 minutes late. Okay, Fashion. and they said they said I could come and talk to the people and not watch. I'm gonna walk past everybody, and I am going in there. I don't have a Trump hat on. I don't. Matter of fact, I have a some Osama bin Laden gear on. Good I have you. Osama bin Laden gear on. They that, don't let me. That'll in soak there. up the sweat because it's hot out here. Finally, Marcos had given up on trying to get a negative response from Trump supporters because all he was getting was love. He's been concerned about his safety going inside the rally. Do you think he's going to be safe in there? A hundred percent safe. What he should be worried about is walking through those protesters right there. Okay. Those are no, they're protesters. Well, that's democracy that they do. Those you know are that, right? They have no valid reason. But they're democracy. They have no valid reason. But it's democracy. Democracy works where okay. we can oppose violence, each other. Violence is not democracy. Exactly. Okay. So, so if I walk through there, I was already verbally harassed just so trying to get up here. Up here. Mom that. is you 75. My aunt is 80, and they're yeah. both still living, okay? Mm -hmm. They tell me many things about the Democrat Party long before I was even oh, thought of, okay? Things about them. So, and then I've seen the damage that the party has done to me and a lot of black people I know. I'm not going to sit up there and, and, and so support anything why, like so that. You know oh, and another thing, this is real. 
I was fined $695 for not having medical insurance in 2016 under Obamacare, okay? So, so why are you gonna, why is he gonna so fine me $695? This, this, I don't know, but this was our, this was our, our he said he don't know. Uh -huh. believe it or Because not. their so-called black president didn't have nothing good in mind for black Americans. Believe it or mm. not, um, mm. <laughs> she got me with this. Shit. Do you feel like Trump is actually? You know what I mean, can't can't really say nothing. I mean, that's I feel like that's 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 one thing that, and I feel like what he had to see was African American. You got uh, the dude uh, Vietnam. Uh, I seen a mixed race. I seen, you know, what I'm saying uh, black. Uh, it's it's doing more for black Americans than Obama did. Oh, most definitely. When he repealed the individual mandate, although I have medical, if I decide to drop it, I won't be uh, fined when I file my taxes in 2020. Okay? Well, he got my vote just off of that. The problem with America right now is the United States of America. The no, people, it's not. The it's the Democrats. The it's the Democrats. America the is a place. America is a foundation. It hasn't and done you know, anything. The, the, yeah, and the corporations also the, the employ most of us out here. But the corporations that, you ain't know what? from America. That's what, that's what we... Lord, the is Fortune foreigners. 500 companies are in America, okay? In America, you got a couple, you got a few that are overseas, but for the most part, most of your Fortune 500 companies are in America. The company I work for just hit the uh, Fortune 500 companies, and honey, guess we're who, in America. Guess who Donald Trump, any prop, most property that Donald Trump sold in America, guess who he sold the property to? It don't make no difference who it. He sold if, it I had, if I had, if you I guys had, if I had property, I'm going to sell it to whoever can give me the most money. The That's capital. <laughs> so, so I, are you gonna are you gonna ask her if she's single? Because I'm just joking though. Because I am very single. Because there are no Republican conservatives in, 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 in Columbus. There are no. They're all Democrats, brainwashed Democrats. So, someone said you might run into your future wife. Future wife, right there. Future wife. And I don't know, man, but you guys are. No, nah, he's in. You the got some chemistry road. here. He's in the middle of the road because I'm not gonna come down here yeah, and bash anything about Trump like when I know that he is doing good. I know for a fact that he is doing good. You seem like you're having fun and enjoying yourself amongst yeah. the Trump supporters. I'm glad that you've been able to experience this, and I <laughs> hope that this sends the message out there that Trump supporters would love more people of color to come join them at these Trump rallies. Let more than anything, he's, he's trying his best to agitate these Trump supporters to get them to snap and react to him, but none of them have been snapping. They've just been showing him love, giving him hugs, offering to come cut in line and come with them. So this is the truth That's that the, the mainstream truth. media the will not show you about Trump supporters. That's right. It is. Let's see what's going on over here. Uh -oh. So Marcos wanted to try the opposite now. We are going to do the opposite. He went into the Trump rally with me, and now I'm going to go over with the demonstrators with him, and he's going to follow me around and see if I get treated with love and tolerance. Let's go see. She's about to go see if she get. I don't know y'all. I don't know y'all. Y'all, y'all, come on. Okay, so we're also going to bring nah, a Trump supporter go. with us to see what happens. He's going to come with us yeah, as I'm a Trump supporter. Okay. Okay. All right, come on. Let's go over here. I really hope Trump supporters become a little more educated in their do you, lives. Do you think that your message is going to resonate with Trump supporters? Hopefully. You know, what do they say? My grandma always said, say it enough times for it to stick, right? They blew smoke in my face. The guy just blew a cigarette in my face. I blew a cigarette in my face. All right. Close the camps! 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 Close the cam
He went over there. Everybody cool and shit. He not even he not even deciding like he was damn near. You know what I'm saying he he basically shit. He don't really know. Yeah. Lightweight, you know what I'm saying against Trump, all of that. Bro, he getting treated bad as hell compared to what. Okay. And he ain't even he wasn't even messing with Trump. My fault, y'all. I just can't. Like, this is loud as hell. I ain't even gonna catch Like a real question. Conspiracy theory channel, and it's not accurate. You guys create delusions in your mind, and then because you guys yeah. are all ignorant, you guys just eat them up like little mice in cages. Black However, people have gotten not, bad information ever since 1619. Black people. Oh, I just got you no, down. No, no, the no you, you, you are wrong. I'm with my. Text my mom to can, I can you please tell me why you are, your network is being sued by the parents of Don't Kill? touch me. I won't touch you, but you stop interfering in our protest. I'm not You're a traitor. You're a treasonous. You're a Russian man. agent. You're a Russian man. agent. Marcos, ma'am. You're a Russian man. agent. You just got poked okay. in the eye by your flag. I did not. I was trying to get between her. I know her. you didn't mean to. You can never come to a black man and explain to a black man about Black Lives you. Matter and I'm things of that you. I'm matter. You that Let me tell you something. I'm telling you no. that I support you and have why, supported why you. White people can't support us due to the fact that you continue to enjoy what you know to be white privilege. No, no, how do you no, stop us from How do we become black? How do we you, you don't become black. You you, you give us our shit back. You give us and our people our shit back. That's why you need Every, you, Your people, your people keep on, your people, your people, your people keep on building on our shit. Bro, I can't have it on my... Hey, hey. See? Reach nothing. Look what he just did. Hey, don't yell on my ear, Bob. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do it. Hey, hey. trying to explain to them about how see let me tell y'all something i usually don't talk about people never mind black lives matter not, not to right other here. black people trying to explain how black lives matter anything you me. can't you can't let me tell you something you can't stay out stand next to me or stand behind a sign that says black lives matter and understand the concept of black lives matter because you're standing behind a sign the only reason you standing behind a Black Lives Matter sign is be do at being white to me is because you feel guilty. It's because you feel because you feel white. See, I got some Trump supporters right here. Okay, so these are Trump supporters. They didn't came over. What's going on over here? How, you feel what? Over here? Not at all. Not even in the slightest. Why? Because nobody wants us over here. Why do you love Trump? I'm that, so sorry. That felt good as this fuck. girl just poured water on him. I'm glad it was water. Oh my god. <laughs> you should be so sad. Look, turn around. Turn around. Hey, you're, you should be proud of yourself. Like, I, hey, I'll I'm shake cold. your hand. I'll I'm shake cold. your hand. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. Why did you throw water on that guy? Oh, I didn't do that. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Of the street. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. That's crazy. I'm gonna speak about this white privilege stuff. There ain't no white privilege. Ain't white privilege. I grew up poor as fuck. They're yelling, F Trump at us. Fuck Trump! 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 See, I feel like it'd be different if 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 people were to actually talk. Those same dudes yelling, I want them to to. I wanted her to ask. <clears throat> Why are you voting against? What's in your now? I want to hear instead Why of people yelling. On the other side. 
Huh? Yeah. Like, 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 you just talk. Because then they'll just look like. Yeah, you just talk. Sure, y'all equal. I'm pretty sure you can walk into a store and be in front of me in line and you get served first. Am I right? And if I go up to you and go, hey, this guy's black, get the fuck out of line. Please? Have you no. ever had that happen to you? Nope. What are you and don't fucking lie. I get harassed and treated like shit. What? I've never did anything to anybody. Never been in trouble ever in my now life. I'll tell you this right but now. just because I'm black and I got tattoos and I'm like, just because I got dreads and I'm black, now, they assume that I got drugs. They assume that I got this and you I got that on me. Over there. So they treat me like shit. They, they, they assume they anything they be over here right now. Because you're not a black guy. They assume they anything they be over here right now. Because you never roll a day. What way, kids? You never roll a day against a black guy. On a normal, regular day. I get treated like that. Treated like shit. For nothing. I've never done shit to nobody. All we're saying is our lives matter and it's a problem. It is. All lives do matter. You guys think you're excluded. but literally, you're excluding your fucking selves from the rest of it. Excluding. That's not what it's about. It's about saying enough is enough. What? That's all it is. You don't know because you don't participate in it. So if we say black li yes, black lives matter, would that change anything for you? Yes. Okay, black lives matter. Acknowledge it and, and do something to fight okay. injustices. But can you also acknowledge that all lives also yeah, matter? Yeah, we say that anyway. Black, all lives do matter. But that's not the point of the movement. The way the movement started was because too many people were being murdered. That is why the movement started. I think what happened was because it took such an anti-cop perspective and the blue lives, it pitted blue lives versus black lives. And people think that by endorsing Black Lives Matter, they're actually saying they don't care about the blue lives, the police that's lives. That's not, I mean, technically there's no such blue thing as a blue life. Police officers. Okay. So, police officers matter too. That's not the point. The point is we need to listen to the folks that are struggling and they're being oppressed and that are incarcerated at far fire rates than white people. That's I will say black lives matter and blue lives matter and Asian lives matter and white lives matter and brown lives matter and every color of human being lives matter. And I would say a lot of Trump supporters and conservatives are actually advocating for the black lives even that are in the Womb that are being targeted by Planned Parenthood. She was a vehement racist. There are racists. Yes, Margaret wolves. Sanger was a racist. Yes. That is not the point. Margaret Sanger is complimented as Planned Parenthood's greatest hero on their website. But many people don't know the dark intentions behind Margaret Sanger and the creation of Planned Parenthood. She advocated a stern and rigid policy of sterilization and segregation. She was quoted as saying, we do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. Despite knowing Sanger's past, Hillary Clinton right. accepted Planned Parenthood's Margaret Sanger Award in 2009. In 2014, 36% of all abortions were performed on black women who are just 13% of the female population. Could this be because abortion clinics are targeting black neighborhoods? I've never been targeted by Planned Parenthood. No, it's not a thing. Never. They put their businesses in the black communities. They put their business in more impoverished communities to help people who aren't able to pay for their proper health care. I've gone to Planned Parenthood multiple times just for myself, just for proper health checks and whatnot. So they offered the option of killing your baby, but they don't offer you the option of helping you with maternity care. If you tell them they will. They won't. I've called them and asked them. I have two kids. That's because you're an info wars. They don't give a fuck about you. No, so it's not. Anything. It's not anything. They don't know. Yes, they do. They, they do know. not offer maternity care. Pregnancy centers, they know way more than that. The Christian pregnancy centers will help you. We're here at this protest outside the Trump rally in Cincinnati. We're trying to have discourse and conversate, but it's been very hard to have a conversation out here with you. Stand wherever the fuck I want, little fucking Nazi bitch. Wow. This is what we get from the liberals out here. Love and tolerance. I hope the message that this shows is that we can have unity directly. Oh no, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy even to think about. It's a lot to process as well. Um, this is a video that I definitely uh, wanted to check out um, and I, I showed Chris. And that's why, uh, uh, you know, it's so late, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> driving this video. Uh, 
I, I literally wanted to see. You know what I'm saying? I want to see. Uh, it was a strong video. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it was definitely a strong video seeing both sides. I want to see more, so make sure y'all comment down below. Um, as myself being independent, as Chris being independent, um, it's something that you definitely want to see. Um, a lot of people have has uh, unsubscribed uh, from my channel, um, has said bad things. Um, a lot of people, you know, um, just based off of uh, and I, I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? What, I'm going to say, at least we're being honest about, like, we don't know a lot and we want to know more. Like, yeah. Instead of saying something that we really don't know just because somebody else is saying yeah. this. I see people uh, say they unsubscribe. see people saying uh, this channel is going to shit or this channel is. And I look at the fact of me wanting to know a lot, you know what I'm saying? I'm 25 yeah. years old, wanting to know what's really going on as far as, you know, yeah, what what's what's going on in the world? Uh, rather than me just sitting back and voting or doing something that you know, yeah, yeah it's 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 one thing about uh, going out here not knowing anything, not doing this. Oh, he shit! I'm literally at at the at the you know the the crib, you know, learning oh, <laughs> learning about uh, these things. These videos. Yeah, that needs that needs to learn about. Uh, Definitely appreciate everybody though watching this reaction. Um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, this is something that I definitely want to want to learn. Uh, definitely want to learn. Definitely want to see. Uh, so please comment down below more uh, videos. Definitely want to check some more out. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this reaction. Catch y'all next time.